So this um from Mr. Bolaji um for him in, in Nigeria. So the message is uh, good morning, thank you. I was trying to get your specialist opinion on shock absorber shock absorbers for my project four six. Some said uh Belgium or Tokumbo or falling use is better. Just want your candid opinion as I saw new ones here in Lorraine for 20,000 Naira front ones and then 18,000 Naira for the rear ones. Um, okay, now of course, uh, there's no how you compare um, the new new one shock as well for Project 406 with a used one. I mean, come on, a, a use is used. Can, can never compare it to a good new one. So people buy used ones because uh, they can't afford the good new ones. Because the used ones are cheaper. And the used one means it will serve you as, um, as long or as good as the used ones. The used ones, are, the lifespan has dropped a little. So it's a question around because they don't write... <laughs> Uh, the mileage on it or the usage, the way it has been well used, because the way you use a suspension or a chunk of could determine um, the lifespan. If you are the type that drive very rough on, on rough roads, or in fact, not rough, if you are the type that speed on rough roads, or road with potholes, gullies, gallops, and here and there, or speed bumps. You know, you see it. If I was wrong, you see that when they see, um, especially when you are traveling, I, I, I see this a lot. Come on a long journey, you know, you get to a part of the highway that probably uh, is a little bit rough. So, you know, people need to slow down, drive on those rough roads slowly before they continue with their high speed. That's when some people will even want to speed up. It's like, oh, since their vehicle cannot, uh, they are not as powerful as the other ones, so they use the opportunity to overtake all the vehicles that overtook them before, uh, before they got to that, uh, those pathways. So all these things will tell on your shock absorbers. The faster you, you drive on bad roads, rough road, on tired road. You know, anything that makes the, the suspension work harder. All those biddy 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 are doing it, you know, all those things are telling on you, it reduces the last time. So, uh, it, it, so it will bring it to this, your question. So you can't really tell until you use it for a day or two or there about to know how long that one, a used one you put will last for you. It doesn't matter whether it's Tokumbo falling use. Nigerian use, uh, you know, call it anything. Use is use. Of course, you know that the ones used outside Nigeria tend to last longer because the, of the nature of conditions of their roads. They are not as bad as the roads we have in Nigeria. It doesn't mean there are no, no rough terrain also in other clans so that people drive on. So there are also rough users over there. Oh, just be probably they didn't actually use a rough lead. Eventually, they are supposed to fail. No matter what you do, they will give up at some point. So, use one is use one. I have these cases we have, you know, about to use boots. Within a week, it started leaking. Even though it was so called to Kumbo, Belgium, call it whatever, calling you, it started leaking. So, it's not because the person that sold it to you lied. No. It's because. You are just unfortunate that you bought one that was about to fail. Um, now, uh, now to bring it uh, home practically, I would rather recommend you buy a used one than buy only new one in the market. I would rather recommend you buy a used one, which is called to go for use, than buy a shock observer, a new shock observer. That uh, the price is at twenty thousand naira for the two, uh, 
the pairs, the two pairs Chuck and Zoba in Pojo Falls is the front ones. Because those ones are China. It's not because they are fake or Chinese brand, but but then they'll be that cheap. They are, they are, they, they, they won't work, they won't last. You know, so they are fake. The genuine one, OEM original one, cost close to between thirty to forty thousand. I just say between thirty to fifty thousand per. I don't know, and you may get it. Uh, but I know the last time I priced it was around thirty something thousand. Then, you know, the two of them, the original new ones. Uh, so if you are getting uh, the twenty thousand, uh, probably TK all those stuff. So they may serve you. Do you see what I'll tell you? From my observation, it depends on the engine of the vehicle. Engines like a uh, 1.8, 2.0 liter engine, uh, even when their chalk absorber fails, you hardly notice it, unless maybe you're on high speed or something. But you, especially the front ones, can barely notice that they are failed because these engines are not really that heavy. So the chalk absorbers can actually still behave as if they are still okay. But if it's V6s, 4 even the good ones, it has to be that extremely good for you to be able to handle it well. If you put one that is a little bit weak, you will see your car will just drop on the ground. There are cases where people that replace their dead shock absorber in their Pojo 406 v they removed it. People that are using four cylinder engine. Collected those shock observers, put in their own, and it was as if there was no issue with those shock observers. No sign when they were driving their four six with uh, uh, four six with uh, two point zero liter, one point eight liter engine. With those dead shock observers they moved from that on V six. So in that case, if you put all those uh, cheap or fake new ones, it, it, it probably even if they they will last longer. Rather than when you put them on the V6. The thing is, V6s, the shock all shock of the four six are the same. We are saying whether V6 or four seven, that they are all the same. So the weak ones cannot stand the V6. But if you remove those weak ones or failed ones, put it in a four seven that one, you'll be surprised that the shock of the will still be behaving as if it's still actually good. So for you to not die on the first thing that to be so the symptom to be that pronounced, it means the shock of is like dead, dead, dead. So a dead shock of in V6 will be still be good on first lane that um, four six. That's where I'm coming from. So if you're buying that twenty thousand naira one, it probably may serve you as long as it's not V6. If it's V6, don't waste your time. So uh, in that case, I would suggest instead of buying that, you can go and buy uh, the used one with hope that it, it probably still have some life left in it to serve you for a long time. Honestly, if you get a good used one, it will serve you for a long time. Or the one that is still in good condition that have not been uh, stressed that much, it's going to last for a very long time. As long as you also use it, you don't... Uh, I will, you don't abuse it by jumping gallops. Whenever you see gallop, that's where you put your tire. You stay your way. It's not when people are avoiding potholes. That's when you really love to jump, drive on them. So in that case, it will not last. Even if it's the original new one. So I don't know if helps. Um, so the the answer is not um, yes or no. You know, you, you use one can serve you better than the the, the fake twenty or the cheap uh, new one. However, the cheap new one may also serve you better in some cases, depending on the engine. Uh, so I want you to understand. I'm not saying don't buy a used one, that new one. I'm also saying uh, you should buy only the used one. But there are cases the used one will serve you better. If you're buying a VC, if it's a VC, if you can't afford the main original shop as well that costs close to 40000 or more, then go and buy a used one. Forget about that new one. Those cheap new ones that cost about 20000 or less. Uh, for the real ones, 
Um, the rare ones, uh, original new, new ones, the rare ones, original one cost about uh, 20 something, other 28,000, 30,000. See, I'm telling you, this price I'm telling you was like uh, 30 years ago. I think that was last time I priced the original shock absorbers, the font and the rare. So I can remember then the font was like 35 to 40,000 naira. The rare one was like uh, 28,000. The original ones, the one we call Pan in Nigeria, you know, the main OEM. So I don't know if um, the price has gone up or has actually dropped, you know, so it's possible. Now there are so many brands in the market now, new ones. Uh, probably there could be ones, uh, newer ones now, new brands that are better than the ones that are being, in the, that were being sold uh, three years ago or thereabouts. So, it's up to you to do the experiment and find out. It's your money. If it fails, try something else. That's one thing with choice. You know, it doesn't mean uh, that's the end of the world. You can always choose. You know, what, you know, what people call mistake is, is just a, a different choice. You choose something probably against your uh, against the one inside you, you choose something else, then it didn't work out. All it means is make a different choice next time because that will not be an opportunity to always come. So next time, choose something else or make a different choice. So it's as simple as that. Uh, so if it works, fine, fine. I hope this helps. So the real ones, for the used ones, for the real ones, the thing is this most times I tell people, if you can, the real ones doesn't really fail that much. Of polyphosis, it can last us. I don't know. Um, so used ones can serve you for a very long time for the real ones. However, like I say, it depends on you know how it has been used. New ones are cheaper. I'm talking about falling used. You know. So um, the one thing about those, some of those new cheap ones is they they you know. They, they can be uncomfortable, very, very uncomfortable. Um, I know the the OEM, those of us who understand this, uh, or if you don't, um, you know what I'm talking about. The OEM, the original ones, the for especially for the full OCs, their shock absorbers are soft. They are not hard. They are, little bit, they are soft. So when you push it in, it goes in and gradually come up. It may be a little bit hard to go in, but you go in slowly, then it will spring up. You know, it's soft. It's not that harsh. But then, those new ones, the fact that you need about 10 people or so to be able to push it down. Okay, so I'm exaggerating, I know that. To push it down in. You know, you need so much pressure for you to be able to make move to, to you know, to go in and come out again. And even when it comes out, it pulls out, boom, it doesn't even come out slowly like the original ones. It pushes out immediately. So what that means is the right quality will be harsh. It won't be soft. For us, it has a soft suspension. So the shock absorber also contributes to that softness. So most of those uh, new ones, they are not as, in terms of the right quality, it won't give you what the other one will do, the original one. So it really depends on brands, you know, there are so many of them, like I said, in the market. So you know, you, you, if you want, you can do the test, check the one that is not as hard as the other. You know, well, at least if you have access to the original new one, check it to see how it behaves. Then use that, the fee, how it, uh, you know, behaves to test the other cheaper new one, see the one. You know, so it all depends. So, and one of the advantages of the new ones is um, leakage. You know, the sales, they, what they use in selling them, it's not that good. So most times, putting, you jump gallon two times, you see oil all over your uh, your alloy room. You know, so it means your chocolate has started leaking. Or even if it doesn't get to the alloy room, you know, if you look at that, um, the chocks itself, the damper itself, you see uh, they will be wet, meaning they started failing. So, so you, you should make your, so it's either yes or no, you know, just make your own choice. Yeah, uh, but to say uh, use one is better than new one, no, no matter what you do, it's not. It's just that because um, 
Well, unless the people that say that are referring to the fake news was yes, uh, but there are some images like I said that you won't really feel it actually. You won't really feel that they actually that fake because the the vague, the engine in front doesn't have much weight, so the shock absorber doesn't really do much work unless when you start jumping galloping and there. Okay, so that's all for this um, video.